I was like, what? <laughs> Surprise! Good morning. It's early and I'm reading this book, All Hope is Found, from Sarah Jakes Roberts. I got this digitally. I'm using my iPad. I got this during the Women of All conference in Dallas, which was so good. What's striking me about this chapter, just FYI, I'm 80% done with this book. I've made it a goal since I got it, since it came out, to read one chapter a day. And if you're like me, you've wanted to read so many books and you just don't get through them, right? And I was trying to get through books by doing a few pages a day. No, I don't read every single day, obviously, because if I did, this would have been done by now. But by reading a chapter a day, when I got halfway through, I was like, wait, how am I, how am I halfway done? Well, that's because there are nine chapters. So I've recognized that if I focus and really do read one chapter a day, I really could get through all the books that I want to get through. Now I understand how people are able to read several books in a month. Excuse me, 30, 31 days in a month, maybe 28. You can definitely read one chapter a day and finish a lot of books. So I'm excited. I have not been reading this every single day. Whenever I do come to read it, I read one chapter. Oh my God, I just realized that I'm on the last chapter. <laughs> How did I not realize that? I'm so excited. Wow, this is a great book. It's an easy read. It feels like she's talking to you. It doesn't, it's not filled with a lot of elevated language. It just sounds like a, a conversation between two friends, honestly. So it is a very easy read. Anyhow, oh, I have six pages left in this chapter. Look, I'm just full of surprises today. What's shocking me and what's standing out to me in this chapter is the fact that of course the book is about all hope being found but there's something about this last chapter that's standing out to me in my situation that i just can't shake and i'm praying and you know i i, I want to hear from god and i'm like give me a sign and I, yesterday and today i'm like okay so is this you god obviously it is right this is a book about jesus about hope about hoping and trusting in god and i'm still sitting here like is this you god oh, it's because what i think i'm getting from this chapter it's hard for me to hold on to it's hard for me to believe that's what it is that's what's that's what's shocking me okay undervaluing Oh, and I love this iPad, by the way, because you can highlight and make notes. It's just so great. Undervaluing the small wins robs us of the assurance and confidence that big wins are on the way. That stood out to me, too, because you might have a small victory. Let's say you finished a book that you wanted to read or you went on a walk because you decided that you wanted to go on a health journey or you ate healthy one day or you whatever checked off some things on your to-do list and your to-do list has been long for quite some time it's hard i have experienced to say all right you know i'm on the moment i got some momentum we're gonna do this because i find that when it is hard it's not always hard let me correct that when it is hard it's because of a lack of assurance and a lack of confidence that bigger wins are on the way or a lack of confidence that this small win can be sustained. Do you get what I'm saying? So, okay, I did this today. I did this for a month, but can I continue to do this? Can I see bigger wins in the future? And when that discouragement is there, that's when it's hard to celebrate or to sit in that win. And no, we're not gonna do that anymore. We have to shift our mindset and shift our focus and understand that we are getting one step closer to the goal and that that discouragement is just not going to help anybody. You can change the colors and the highlight. I just love this. All right. And then over here, I, I highlighted, uh -oh. hi, what are you doing? Excuse me, go back. Okay, over here I highlighted the world is in the dire need of hope. And that means the world is in dire need of you. And that's so powerful because when I look at all the things that I'm hoping for, I look at it as it affecting me and my family. But of course, it affects the world as well because what if, what if God has some huge thing that he wants to do that's going to 
affect the masses, that's going to be done on a public scale or a local scale, then that will affect not only me, not only my family, but other people. So the hope that I need to have for myself in my circumstances can and likely does span further than just me. That's what I'm getting from this. Okay. If you're wondering what your purpose, if you're reading this book, let me know. And if this is helpful to you, this chat, let me know as well. If you're wondering what your purpose is and how you can make a difference with the cards you've been dealt, the answer is in the intentional hope that you spread. The manifestation of God's presence is experienced through the people who live their lives as couriers of hope. Wow. Okay. A courier is, for example, a postman, a postman, post worker, postwoman who delivers mail. So imagine you and I as a courier of hope. Wow. Carrying that hope through life to other people. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. When you, when your intentions are not to be when you, excuse me, when your intentions are not to take or to be seen, you are able to give and observe hope in a way that produces creative ways to help push someone further toward hope. Let's read that again. When your intention is not to take or be seen, you're able to give and observe in a way that produces creative ways to push someone further toward hope. So when it's not about you, and you'll find creative ways to help push others toward hope. Hmm. Okay. Wow, this is highlighting community. Often God has wrapped up the fullness of our hope in other people. Hmm. And that other people is us for someone else. It's not just on the receiving end, it's on the giving end. Remember she mentioned being a courier of hope? Wow. That really gives, that really puts it into perspective because there's a charge on our lives for other people as well. Hmm. If you're partnered with someone who doesn't have the same hope as you do, then you can be sure that there'll be tension. That is true. Because you don't have the same vision. You're not on the same path. Do you and your friends share the same hope? What about you and your faith leader? What about you and your co-parent? One of the most important questions you can ask someone who get to know them is what are your hopes? Ooh. When you share the same hope, you may not share the same philosophy, but you have an agreed upon destination. Take a look at it. Okay. I'm gonna link it below. You have to get this. It's giving surprise. Oh, and also don't skip back day. Ow, ow, ow. Get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Uh -huh. And everything is alright. I like how you doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of yeah, oh yeah. Like how you do it alright. Everything good alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top alright, oh yeah. I wanna know it tonight. I wanna be the one to surprise you. Wake you up in the morning. I wanna be. She bad, but I don't bad, she a gun shot that blew my mind Now distance I come by my side Everything is green over here oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about Now I got your back all the way And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you
crazy on us. Excuse me, I didn't hear you. Yeah. Did you say something? And the thing is, you gotta wear them in indoors too. It's, oh, it's fashion. You don't yes. take it off. This is the outfit. This is the look. So go ahead and drink up. I'm so glad we got to link up. Here we are looking good. It's feeling even better than the wall. It's only 90 degrees. It's only 90 degrees. And listen, when you walk around us, you cannot help but smell how amazing we smell. We've been ready. We've already been complimented at the gym. Try mango. I've never been in here before. What they got going on? I feel like I saw an ad on these or something. Or I saw these in an ad. They're so cute. I I I How cute these are. These are definitely a dupe for some kind of design. I don't know if it's Gucci or what. Really cute. See, I don't do silver, but this would look so good. Like, this is actually really cute. Oh, and it has matching pants. Oh my god. This is actually really cute. This jacket is really nice. I have a darker color. I wish they had. Does it have XL? Let me try this on. I gotta find XL though. Ooh, these mules? Hold on. Now this is giving girl and sexy. My aunt used to wear mules. Hold on. Oh, this is a skirt. Oh, I have not worn that in a minute. I don't think large would fit me. My hip, yo, the way my hips are. Hmm. I need XL. Hold on. This is, this, this is a large. Mm -mm. It ain't gonna fit my hips. It's like an extreme sport. <laughs>
decorating was so fun and we actually put our tree up on Halloween, okay? We don't do with the witches and the wizards, okay? Even if it's just for fun and he's a lot older now and he's not interested. I'm heading to an event back in the Galleria area. I feel like I've been to the mall so much in the past week, but I was excited to get out. It's good to get out and about. So it's a lunch event for a shoe company by a Portuguese brand and it was lovely. I loved the outfit that I put on. I did a get ready with me this day actually and showed you how I did my hair. So that was fun. And it's always so interesting when I go places. And of course, I eat a keto diet. So I stuck with water and champagne. I did have the salad. I wanted to try this hummus, but I don't think chickpeas are keto. This salad was good. It was light. I just ate the salmon off of this dish. I was not full at all. I mean, at all. And then the majority of us had to rush home to get back for carpool. Oh, and then when it came to the dessert, I got fruit and it was my first time trying an espresso martini. It was okay. What up, what up? I just finished a full, almost a full day of doing a lot of work. Okay, I do feel, I do feel accomplished. My hair is now in a ponytail. <laughs> it needs to be taken out. I mean, for God's sake, it's not holding a curl. It's just there, but we're gonna go with it today. I gotta do some laundry. As you can see, the tree is looking so glorious, especially in the evening time. It's just so beautiful to enjoy. I just love it. I have on Amazon, Amazon, Shein. Love this crisscross situation right here. I mean, I'm in love with jeans now all over again because I have just stopped trying to force my body into skinny jeans. It's just too much. And then these Zara mules, I am gagging over as well. I like these a whole lot. Gotta grease the heels. I use my Vaseline all over body balm. Where is it? Oh, I put it in this drawer. It's an all over body balm. This stuff is good. You gotta grab it. Hands, ankles, <laughs> elbows, cuticles, the whole nine yards. And I focused, of course I lotioned, you know that, you know, we don't just skip that, okay? I focused it on my heels, cause you know, we can't be having, what? No, you know, I don't do crust. All right, I'm headed to Mango to exchange some stuff. So I'm gonna grab my tote, put the stuff inside of it because I don't have the bag anymore. And I'm not gonna carry clothing in the mall. That's just too much. So let's head to the mall. Say who will oblige, he's not just with me, he lives inside. Sephora that was so good listen they didn't have some stuff that I wanted but that's actually better because I spent more than I listen I don't need to be getting any of these things but here I am I got them anyway now I met Brittany in Sephora she was very very helpful so hey Brittany and then I forget the other person that was assisting me girl if you're watching hey too she was a NARS rep I didn't realize that the reps the what, what did the guy call them independent I don't know anyway they don't get commission so when they be doing what I help and when you go to the front and say their name they don't get it and I was like oh well that was actually very nice that they still were helpful right they're not people who oh, I'm not getting commissions I'm not helping you maybe they have to I don't know but that was very nice listen I wasn't there for longer than I needed to be I got a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> we'll talk about that later and I went to stop into L'Occitane because I love their shower oil and I don't like how that lady looked at me first of all she gave me a fake smile thinking I was just passing by no I actually walked inside and then I heard her tell someone at the, at the back or the cash register, I'm gonna go down here real quick. She was focused on what she was doing, not on customer service. So it turned me off to shopping in the first place. And then, I said, whatever, forget it. Let me see what, what locks a ton product Sephora has online and I'll get that with my discount versus going to pay full price for, you know, if you don't want my money, then I'm not gonna give it to you. Is it my boss, okay? Here's a bag, let's go over what we have. This is not a big bag, by the way. <laughs> Damage. <laughs> okay. I had to restock on my color wow because I use this all the time. I didn't use it today. I should have. Like what? <laughs> That's okay though. I had to restock on this. I use the shade black because brown is just not gonna work. So this is really good. I enjoy this. Oh my gosh. So one of the associates was convincing me that this naked 
Stay Quickie, wait, Stay Naked Quickie 24 Hour Multi Use Concealer is really, really good. So I look forward to seeing how this is gonna work. I got 80 WO Deep Warm Orange, 80 Warm Orange. Yeah, this shade looks really good in store. So I cannot wait to try this on my skin. You know, I love a good full coverage concealer. So she was saying that that's gonna be really, really, really full coverage, almost like a foundation. And that just sold me because I was gonna get the house lab, but then I'm like, I wanna, I wanna actually enjoy the stuff that I'm buying too, even though I'm trying to review it for you. So I got this one. All right. Oh, and then I got the Gucci Multi Use Long Wear Concealer because y'all told me to try it. The shade I got is 54W. So we're gonna review this in a video as well and see what I on. I had to restock on my Gucci foundation because you know I love this 24 hour breathable luminous finish foundation, uh, luminous matte finish foundation. So good, 540N is my shade. Good stuff, honey. Uh, I had to restock on Fleur Not Your Baby, excuse me. Uh, they sent me this and I finished it, that's how good it is. And then I just knew when the silicone came around, I had to get another one. This is so soft, delicious, beautiful, just flirty. It's like fresh, clean. Not fresh like 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 plants, but it's just so like baby powder. It's just it's just good. It's just good, okay? It's like it's just this is perfect to wear to bed because of how baby powder-esque it is, but it's not so adolescent. This is just I can't get over it. It's good. You gotta get your nose on it, okay? And then I realized that Glossier has a new fluid foundation, stretch fluid foundation. I got the shade Very Deep One. I don't know a thing about this. We're gonna figure this out. If you've tried this and love it, let me know, okay? And then I wanna try the Sephora Collection Brow Pencil. So I got the shade Granite in these. I got two of them because I figured I'm gonna like it. I hope I do, <laughs> we're gonna see. Then I got the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Concealer. I have not had this or have i no i haven't had this and this is 50n so i look forward to trying that shade out i got a bunch of concealers as you can see what is going on here and you know i had to restock on my old favorite combination almost like a combination plate sephora collection 30 cent off okay so i have 26 and i got 75 they didn't have 66 in the store but 66 is 66 is also really good i love that shade very light in the middle of the lip this happens to be a fenty lip today in case you're wondering love it it's called very something I look at it. and then the only eyeshadow palette that i got i have not bought an eyeshadow palette in years okay so this is the denisa myrick's what groundwork divine and neutral define and neutrals i almost got a patrick what was it Patrick Tawam? Was that what it was? Was that the one I was going to get? Matt something. And the the artist there told me, honey, mm -mm, that those those cinnamon colors are mm, giving cool, you know, and I like warmth on my face. I don't like mm, bluish. I don't like that kind of stuff on my face. You know, I need, I need to get some more orange in my shades. And this one she recommended over the Patrick Ta matte three, whatever. I can't think of the name. So I'm excited because this one has a mix of creams and powders. The creams are very, very velvety, very nice. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to dip into this. And this is for eyes, face, brows and lips <laughs> we gonna see about this one okay baby and that's all i got what'd you get comment and let me know and my tab was this look at that i feel like that was nothing and i got i spent 375 i still want to get the loxiton loxiton shower gel shower oil so stinking good i still want to get a re-up now this is my third fenty eau de parfum body cream that stuff is stupendous that was not in store either and then i wanted to get another lys bronzer in the shade deep they didn't have that in the store so i just have three other things left to get and then i'll be all set for the store.